House Church leaders, what's going on? This is Andrew coming to you from Marshfield, Wisconsin. Yes, the Marshfield, Wisconsin, that you have heard so much about in stories, fables, and folklore in sermons over the past however long you've been with us. Uh, it's cold and snowy. There's a lot of salt and slush on the road, and there generally isn't a lot to do, which is pretty much par for the course for Marshfield. But anywho, hope that you guys had a great Christmas. I uh, hope that you had a great New Year's as well. We're going to be up here uh, for another day or so, then we're heading to Chicago to hang out with some friends, and then driving back into Denver later this week. So uh, looking forward to a great semester with you guys and a great upcoming year. wanted to pass on, along a couple administrative items for you as you think about house church this coming semester. You're probably sitting there going, uh, are they going to give us any direction about what's going to be happening this semester? Yes. Yes, we are. Here comes some direction for you. First of all, uh, we've got a leader training scheduled. So remember, we didn't have a meeting in December, and we said we would have uh, our next meeting in January to kind of prepare you all for the upcoming semester. So our first uh, meeting is going to be January 21st. That's a Saturday night at 5 o'clock at our place. We'll do potluck-style dinner just like we did last time. Be a really fun time just kind of catching up, and then we'll pass along the few things that we're going to be doing this semester that you want to be aware of. So it'll be a little training reorientation time, uh, and we've got some stuff cooking behind the scenes that I think you're going to be excited about and I think is going to be really helpful to our community. So please let me know if you can make it to that and, uh, of course, we'll put out a bunch of reminders and stuff like that. But uh, let me know. 5 o'clock, Saturday night, January 21st. Does that work for you? It's very important that we have you all there um, uh, for the second reason, which is that the hard start, quote, unquote, for house churches this coming semester is going to be the week of January 23rd. That's a Monday. So whenever your house church meets that week, that'll be sort of the official start for it. So we're going to try to put the things in your hands that you're going to need to kind of get things going in the right direction. So we'd like to have you prepared for that. So therefore, if for whatever reason you can't make it to that meeting on the 21st, let me know. I'll schedule some time personally with you, and I'll kind of bring you up to speed on what we're going to be doing. Um, if uh, so I know that some of your house churches did not finish your life stories last semester. Uh, before the semester was up or whatever. So if you got those to finish up, go ahead and get together with your house church a few times before the week of the 23rd. If you're just back in town and you want to hang out with everybody, man, be our guest. Like, do it. Get the community back together. Listen to stories of how people's Christmas was, how their New Year's was, what they did, what their New, Year, New Year's resolutions were, or are, <laughs> were. <laughs> we're in mid-January and they're already shattered, huh? Um, but anyway, you're more than welcome to do that. That would be a great thing. And probably a lot of your people, if they're around, they're really desperate for community and wanting to connect anyway. So you're more than welcome to do that. Um, but that's the story. So soft start for house churches is any time between now and the 23rd. Hard start for house churches is the week of the 23rd. House church leader training is January 21st, 5 o'clock at our place. So let us know if you can come to that. Okay, that's it. Love, peace, and chicken grease, I think is how it goes uh, to you all. Like I said, looking forward to the coming year and the coming semester. Hope you guys are well. Uh, can't wait to see you this weekend if you're going to be around. Grace and peace.